So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in sysdm.cpl. Click on it. And then once this comes up, you want to click on the remote tab. And then once you're on this, you want to make sure you have this selected right here. Allow remote assistance connections. You want to select this one. And now you want to also turn on allow remote connections to this computer. Turn on this and make sure that you have this option right here under it selected as well. So select these three options and then click on select users. You want to make sure that your username has access or any other accounts that you want to add have access. So you want to make sure that all the names that you want to have access will appear right here. If it doesn't, you want to click on add and then type in your username and then click on check names and then click on OK, which will then add it right here. And then click on OK again and then click on OK again. See if that works for you. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. And once you're on this, you're going to type in IP config, click on enter. You're going to make sure that the IP address that is listed here matches with what you have on the other computer because this is the IP assigned by the DHCP server. And then once you've done that, now you're going to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. Now you just want to restart your computer and then you should be good to go.